Hello, but 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 two seconds, two seconds. I would love to meet you again if that's a possibility. Sorry? I would love to meet you again if that's a possibility. Okay. What do you say to that? Sorry? I would love to meet you again if that's no, a possibility. I, I have a boyfriend already. I have a boyfriend too. And huh? a duck. Huh? I have a boyfriend and a duck. I thought we were talking about shit that doesn't matter. <laughs> As friends. Okay, maybe. You have a number? Hello guys, this is your coach Arna and welcome to today's video where we're going to talk about what is exactly a shit test, why do girls give you a shit test and how to pass it. Now before we talk about how to pass those shit tests, let's talk about what is exactly a shit test. Now a shit test is basically a congruence test and what a congruence test is, is actually the girl is just testing you whether you're that confident guy that you're portraying to be or are you an underconfident guy? Are you the same guy you know, you're projecting to be? And this usually happens, a lot of times this happens when you're not really congruent or if you know the, you come out too strong and the girl is like, okay, this guy is you know, pretending to be too confident. I really want to see whether he's too confident or not. Now, when people generally get shit tests, they absolutely hate it. They're like, oh my God, she's testing me. How do I pass this test? What do I do to impress her? My God, this is not working. And if you're thinking about all of this, you will never be able to pass a shit test. Now, all of these thoughts will actually hold you back rather than helping you pass that shit test. So once you start overthinking about that test, once you start overthinking, oh my God, how should I respond to that? Should I impress her? Should I say this? Will this work? What happens at that time is you're still seeking her validation. You're still seeking a reaction from her. Maybe it's permission, maybe it's validation, whatever it is. And if you're seeking all of that, you will fail the shit test immediately. Now, I want you to change your mindset with shit test. I want you to appreciate getting a shit test. Now, whenever I get a shit test from a girl, I always appreciate it. Why would I? Why would I? Why would I do you? Oh my god, what do you think of yourself? Tell me. I want to know. I want I want to know. I think I'm great. You're a martial, you're great. Yeah. What else? What else? I'm fucking great, dude. Oh my god, are you? Just a Bangalorean girl, maybe a 9 to 5. Oh my god. Damn, did you miss me? <laughs> what happened to me? You're the gay friend! Huh? You're the gay friend! Fuck you! You're gay! You're fucking gay! Alright, man. I know you've been watching this, I know you've been working hard at your dating life, I know you want good results with women as well as your social life and for that reason, we have launched the Dark Arts of Dating. Now this is going to be a subscription program and it's going to be cheaper than a cheese burst pizza. One reason why I always appreciate it is because the girl is not going to test random people. She's not going out on the road just, you know, talking to guys and telling them, hey, are you really approaching me? Are you really talking to me? She's not going to test every random guy. She's only going to test the guy she's attracted to. So you have to understand, she will only test you if she's attracted to you. So that is actually a positive sign in itself. And guys, understand this, the girl is not going to walk up to a guy, a homeless guy and tell him, hey, are you looking at me? Are you approaching me? Why don't you go and talk to these girls? Now, these are the common shit tests you will face, you know, when you're out in the field trying to approach some beautiful girl. The basic criteria behind a girl giving you a shit test is she wants to see how confident you are, whether you will have an emotional shift, you know, in your emotions, whether you'll shift your emotions, whether you have, you know, uh, up or down in your emotions or not. If she says something to you, she wants to see how centered you are. A lot of times when you approach a girl, she'll say, are you really talking to me? Why are you talking to me? I really don't want to talk to you. Why don't you go and talk to those girls? Hey, are you really wearing that really pink shirt? Are you really wearing that blue shirt? Are you really looking like this and talking to me? Now, a lot of girls will do this because they want to see what's going on with you. Are you a guy who's confident? who will be able to handle that congruence or that shit test or are you a guy who will fizzle out who will freak out and who will think of ways on how to impress her so that is basically a shit test and to pass a shit test all you need to do is think about it all right think about it how would a guy how would a guy who's you know an alpha so to say or a guy who's extremely high value react to that kind of shit test how would a guy who has 10 girls you know lying in his house Right? Bunch of cool female friends and male friends, bunch of cool social circle and a good life going on for him. How would he react to a shit test? Now, if a girl personally comes to me and she's like, hey, are you really wearing this hoodie? This is so out of fashion. I'd be like, yeah, it makes me more attainable to people like you. Anyways, what's up, right? So the thing you have to understand is it's all about how you play with the words and how you give it back to her, but you have to do it in a fun and positive way. So let's get down and discuss how to pass some of these shit tests. Now, the first thing you have to understand is 
never go full explanation mode or never try to explain yourself. For example, if a girl tells you, hey, are you really talking to me? Why don't you go and talk to these girls? Uh, I don't think they would be appropriate. I don't think, you know, if I go and talk to them, they would like me. I don't think if a girl tells you, hey, are you really wearing that blue t-shirt? Uh, I, oh, I just selected this. My mom selected this for me. My brother said it's nice. So I thought, why not wear this? So never, guys, never go explanation mode, all right? Don't try to explain it to her. You don't owe her any explanations. The more you go into an explanation mode, the more you try to qualify yourself, which brings me to my next point as well. Do not qualify yourself at all. Do not explain yourself at all. Do not qualify yourself at all. Because the moment you try to do all of that, the, the girl will lose attraction for you. Because the girl will think, okay, this guy, he's not a confident guy. He was projecting to be confident. He was, you know, he was showing me that he's confident. But when I'm talking to him, he's a completely different guy. You know, he's explaining himself. You have to understand, a confident guy, a guy, uh, an alpha, do not give a fuck what the girl thinks. And I'm not telling you to be rude. I'm not telling you to be an asshole. All I'm telling you is to completely buy in yourself, all right? Buy in yourself and know what's your true value. And once you know what's your true value, once you actually believe in yourself, once you, once you think that you are the real shit, you are, you are the guy that girls want, what will happen is you will automatically start passing those shit tests because you will not care about those shit tests. You will not care whether the girl is saying, hey, is that a blue t-shirt? Is that a pink shirt? It doesn't really matter, right? Whatever the girl is saying. Because what you will do is, firstly, you would not take anything personally. If you're a guy who has his life going on, you would not take anything personally. If a girl says some shit, you would just be like, okay, it's some shit that a girl is you know, giving to me. And you just give it back to her in a fun and a positive way. Second thing is you will not get butthurt. Yeah? You will not get butthurt. Hey, you know, she said this to me now i need to explain myself oh my god is this game i don't need to do game now you have to understand the more you explain it to a girl the more problems arise so do not try to explain anything and i've seen this over and over again guys just going full-on explanation mode and guys you have to understand that the more you try to explain the the lesser the attraction will be and apart from that you don't owe her an explanation so understand that point you don't owe her any explanation now which brings me to my next point now a lot of guys would say hey i was just showing my intent and she gave me a shit test and this is one point where you'll get a lot of shit test is when you're showing the girl your intent because then she will say okay does this guy is this guy really confident let me test him right now so if i say if i tell a girl hey you look beautiful oh really what makes you say that or hey really you know i, I think you should go over there and talk to those girls i really am really not interested right because now the girl knows that okay you're complimenting her so you're sexually interested in her and at that point a lot of girls will give you shit tests now how do you pass those shit tests is first thing never be apologetic about attraction <laughs> You have to understand that it's a free world and you're a man who can get attracted to any girl and you don't have to be apologetic about that. You don't have to hide that self that, hey, I'm a man and I like you, but I, I cannot tell it to you because you reject me. You don't have to hide that shit. So never be apologetic about attraction, guys. Remember this. If you want to pass a shit test, if you're throwing some intent and you're getting a shit test, never be apologetic about it. Tell her, hey, this is this is how it is. You know, I'm an, I'm an attractive man. You're a beautiful girl, so why not? Which brings me to my next point. Don't show her an emotional shift. Now, what happens is a lot of times girls will shit test you just to see whether your emotions go up and down. She wants to see whether she can create, you know, a disbalance in your emotional wavelength. I would, you know, I would just give you an example. I was talking to this girl. She's like, I'm not from this town. I'm not from this town. I'm like, I don't really care, right? So I just showed her that there's no emotional shift in me. And because of that, you will see in the infield, she gets 10 times more attracted. Another thing you have to focus on is when I'm telling her, hey, I don't really give a shit. I'm not, I don't give a shit. But I'm just playful. Hey, I don't give a shit. And you also have to understand this one thing. When I'm telling her, hey, I don't give a shit. I'm not, you know, angry or I'm not looking butthurt, but I'm like, hey, I don't give a shit. There's a very slight difference. There's a very subtle difference. And it's all about how I'm saying it. So whenever you want to pass a shit test, if you show the girl that, you know, you're, you're butthurt or you're angry or you've taken it personally, you will lose the shit test. All right. You will not pass the shit test. You will probably lose the shit test. So it's very important when you, whenever you're, you know, replying to the shit test, always have a playful energy, always have a playful vibe and always be a little flirtatious when she's giving you a shit test. Right? Like, hey, I don't really give a shit. Now you can be more playful by putting in your complete facial expressions, by using your facial expressions and your hand gestures to your advantage. So make sure whenever you're responding to a shit test, use your whole body to completely express yourself because that's gonna be more engaging for a woman. And that brings me to another point. When a girl is giving you a shit test, you can either underplay it or over exaggerate it. Now guys, understand this works in mostly all the situations, but you still have to calibrate sometimes 
whether you want to underplay the scenario that what she's you know the test she's giving you or you want to over exaggerate on it now this will work wonders whenever the girl is giving you a shit test right underplay it for example if i'm talking to a girl and ask her her age hey what's your age and this is the point where most of the girls will give you shit test so in a way i'm mostly inviting those shit test on my own self like i do this intentionally when i walk up to girls i would just ask this you know question which would actually give you a shit test so i can just pass it to build massive amounts of attraction and you should do that too so if i ask a girl hey what's your age and she's like are you really asking me that you're not supposed to ask a girl's age i'll be like Oh, I was just thinking, how come they allowed such a young, beautiful girl to enter this club? I I thought the minimum age is 18. Now I'm being very playful with it. I'm, you know, I'm not getting butt hurt. Oh, I'm so sorry to ask your age. I I shouldn't have. Or it's just age. It doesn't matter. I'm not being butt hurt. I'm being very playful, and I'm being being a little flirtatious as well. Now I'm using my facial expressions and my body language too, and all of this is gonna get the girl engaged. And definitely, I'll pass the shit test. And because of this, she's gonna get. 10 times more attracted to me than she was before. So understand this guys, once you pass the shit test, it will build a lot of attraction. And when the girls are giving you the shit test, they generally want you to pass. All right, they generally want you to pass. Now I know a lot of guys might think, "Hey, it's a shit test, you know, I shouldn't be getting a shit test." I'm 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 a genuine guy. I'm a genuine guy who genuinely wants to have a good relationship with a girl. I'm a genuine guy who actually wants to know her. why is she testing me? But you just have to understand guys, she wants you to pass that shit test. That's why she's testing you and she actually wants you to pass. Now, a lot of times what will happen is if a girl gives you the shit test and she actually likes you, she will be hoping that you react in a way where you pass that shit test. Now, a lot of guys say that, "Oh, I'm getting a shit test. I don't want a shit test. Shit tests are bad." But you have to understand the girl's situation. You have to, you know, put yourself in her shoes. If she's getting approached by maybe 50 guys in a night and if she's not testing these guys all right if she's just talking to everyone then a whole night is wasted talking to multiple different guys and maybe 90% of those guys are not even worth it and by worth it i mean maybe they are not sexually worthy maybe the, these guys are not confident enough maybe the guys are very scared so it's kind of a screening process for girls where they're screening the less confident the guys who are not you know centered enough the guys who have an emotional shift just because of what someone else says to them so she's screening all the men for that alpha guy she's screening all the men for that high quality man and i think i think it's just fair that girls should do this because we also do this when we're going out to approach right we see a beautiful girl we definitely want to approach her and the same thing over here for girls attraction is more like a volume knob it increases over time when she sees that okay this guy has different traits it will improve over time increase over time but for a guy it's like you know a switch you see a beautiful girl and you want to approach her so guys i hope it's very clear to you what you need to do when you get a shit test again and i hope you pass that shit test with flying colors and apart from that in the dark arts of dating membership plan we're going to completely break down the different kind of shit test that you will receive from girls and how to pass them with flying colors and make them instantly attractive so do check out the dark arts of dating if you have not already and i hope to see you in the field